all I can do. And Lord, yes, it's all about you. We Spirit, we worship you on tonight. I know that the devil was going to try a stun, but with my lighting, oh no. I want to thank God that we are back on live on tonight. This is Prophetess Anna K. Wade, and welcome to the Lion of Judah Prophetic Ministry. Hallelujah. The reason why the devil is so mad, because God is getting ready to equip us with some vile vital keys hallelujah we're gonna be learning a lot about a spiritual warfare dynamics on tonight hallelujah and i want you to know that no weapon formed against us will prosper god is up to something big and god is equipping us for the battle is the lord and we are going to use kingdom keys and kingdom strategies to fight this battle because it's not our battle. God is giving us the key. If it's a shout key, we're going to shout. If it's clapping, we're going to clap. Whatever is the kingdom strategy that God is going to give us, that's what we're going to use to fight this warfare in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome once again to the line of Judah prophetic ministry. I am prophetess Anna K. Wade. And tonight we're under a very dynamic team. And our team tonight is we wrestle, we wrestle. And Paul, hallelujah, gave us a very clear description of what we are wrestling against, what we're up against. Praise the name of Adonai. But before we go into the teaching on tonight, I want to invite the Ruach Kodesh to come and to just tabernacle with us on tonight. Balish, realizing that of ourselves we can do nothing. Mako Shako Rabaya. We cannot cause the sun to stand still. We cannot cause the, the stars in their courses to fight against our enemies. Hallelujah. Unless there is a power that is at work. Hallelujah. And the power is at work. That is at work, great people of God. Is the power of Adonai, the power of the God that answered by fire, as we learned about him last night. So tonight we're gonna ask him to come, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want to thank you for tonight. We want to thank you for the blood of Jesus, the cross of Jesus, the victory of the cross, the power of the cross, the power that lies in the blood of Jesus. Mighty God, as we come, we ask, oh God, that your fire will go before us and you will burn up all your enemies. We don't care to know what rams or wrong they are. Are. We ask that the prophetic fire of God will go forth and burn up all our enemies on tonight. We ask Robokusha that you will make them desolate, Robokusha. We ask that the fire of God will go through the eyeways and the earways. We ask that you will break down, bash to pieces every enemy that is entrenched against us in the prophetic name of Jesus. We know that victory belongs to you and we are victorious in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you will fight against them that fight against us. Make all and lay all our shield and butler and kushaya and stand up for our help on tonight. We pray the prophetic anointing of God will go forth as a blazing fire. Lord, you will leave no stone Unturn. Ikabo Shakuria. You did not call us to be casualties on the battlefield of life. You call us to win the war, Rabakusha, because you went ahead of us and you beat down the enemy and you have given us the keys of the kingdom. And whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Makabo Shakuria. We activate those keys. Hallelujah. In the prophetic name.
name of Jesus because victory belongs to our God and we are his people. We are the sheep of his pasture and we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Hallelujah. Adonai, we recognize that we are nothing without you, without you. Rabo Shakola Baleshkai. And so tonight we put on the old armor of God that we may battle Liko Shataya, a successful battle. Lord God, we ask that everything the enemy stole from us, he will begin to vomit it. We command him to cough it out, spit it out, vomit it by fire. Yes. Oh, yes. Every blessing, everything that you have preordained that was swallowed by the serpent that was swallowed by the army of Satan in the apostolic prophetic name of Jesus Christ the son of God we command and demand that you will cough it out you will vomit it you will spit robo it out in the prophetic name of Jesus father we thank you hallelujah we praise you I can feel the anointing of the warrior are coming on tonight. How many of you know that God did not call us to be casualties? God did not call us to be the beaten stick of the adversary. God did not call us, oh yes, to be slain by the enemy. God called us to use his mighty weapon of war to demolish, to pulverize, to pull down, to cast down, to dig out, to root up. Oh yes, all oh, the power of hell. God says we are on the winning side. Hallelujah. Because greater is the Adonai in us than all the devils that are in the world. Who am I preaching to? In the prophetic name of Jesus. And so this lead me to our sermon on the tonight prophetic team. Hallelujah. We wrestle. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality and powers rulers of darkness and wicked spirit in high places. So let us go into the text on tonight from Ephesians chapter 6. Oh yes, I'm going to be reading from the New English Version. Ha ha, Rokosata. This was Paul um, admonishing the brethren of Ephesus, the Ephesian brethren. Hallelujah. He was saying to them, hallelujah, that you are in a battle and the only way you can overcome is that you must be clad in your spiritual armor. Makasheke. An armor that when the enemy sees you, he sees that you are not unclothed. So Ephesians chapter 6 from 10 to 18 states, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. He did not say be strong in your power. He said be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the full armor of God so you can take your stand against the devil schemes. We're going to break down this word today. And we're going to um, we're gonna exegete from the scripture something that is very, very profound. For many of us, when we just just read the scripture. We just read. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But we need the word to come alive in us. We need to break the word down to understand what exactly are we wrestling. And so based on what the Bible is saying to us, we are wrestling not only with an arch enemy that has so much knowledge about how to manipulate, intimidate, vex, and ex us. But he has a lot of derricks. He has a lot of tricks. He has a lot of schemes. And so Paul was admonishing the brethren of Eph Ephesian brethren. He said, we struggle not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. When, when Paul said we struggle not against flesh and blood, Paul is saying we are dealing with disembodied species. We're dealing with beings that don't even have a body to habitate. And so Paul says, we are not dealing with flesh and blood, but against rulers, 
So when you look at the world rulers, you're looking at someone that has a governing authority. Paul says you're wrestling against a governing authority. You're wrestling against a territorial prince. You're wrestling against master spirits. You're wrestling against territorial demonic hallelujah power that are strong and so paul says we are resting against rulers number one and against authorities number two and against powers of darkness of this world hallelujah and he goes on to say that we're also wrestling against spiritual forces of evil where are they they are in the heavenly realms and so because they are spiritual being there's a way that we have to clothe ourselves in the armor of God when we are going to battle. And Paul says, the way to clothe yourself is to put on the armor of God so that you can stand in the evil days. Praise the name of the Lord of, of us. Now the armor of God comprises of many different compartments and components. He said number one, we need to take a stand. Paul says stand firm in order for you to be able to stand your ground you must have a defense mechanism you must have a, a, a warrior kind of mentality Paul says number one stand firm in the Lord put on the old armor of God and this is what the armor comprises of it comprises of the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness to protect your chest cavity the belt of truth Rabodosh Kalabadushkai the preparation of the gospel of peace that give your feet a kind of readiness it will cause you to be shod with a kind of readiness up on your feet Paul talked about the shield of faith to quench the fiery dart of the enemy and the shield of faith is basically appropriating the word of God every time the enemy shoot a word your defense mechanism through the feet the shield of faith will throw back that word back to the sender back to the originator back to the one who orchestrated the shield of faith literally uh, hallelujah cause the enemy's arrows not to come into us hallelujah the sword of the spirit is the word of God to cut to dissect to disintegrate to obliterate to scatter and batter into pieces. Hallelujah. The words of the enemy. So Paul, hallelujah, basically give us a clear understanding of what we are up against. But we need some more biblical foundation to kind of bring about a kind of balance so for us to understand what we're really up against. So we understand that we're in the end time. And Christians need to know that spiritual warfare is not just in the end time. Spiritual warfare is what the Bible is basically built of. When you read the book of, 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 of Joshua, you see that Joshua had to fight, Moses had to fight, everybody had to fight. We got to fight for our territory. We got to fight for what we believe in. We have to fight. And so I want to lay a deeper biblical foundation and bring out a deeper spiritual truth to make you understand that when you're going through a battle, don't feel like you're the only one in this. So don't feel like this is something new. There's nothing new under the sun. The Bible says there's no temptation that has taken you or me that is not common unto man. But the Lord Adonai will make a way of escape for us that with the temptation we will be able to, hallelujah, endure or overcome in the prophetic name of Jesus. And so the Bible, hallelujah, want us to, God wants us to understand that we are in a real war. The war is so gross. The war is so serious that you cannot just rely on name it and claim it and bless it and cam it and grab it message. Those messages don't give you the resilience that you need when you're under spiritual attack. You need solid rubble, shatter, Holy Ghost message in your 
belly. You need the word of God to come so alive in you that when you're in a spiritual battle, you can be able to really execute the judgment, bind their kings and nobles with fetches of iron, and prophesy and legislate what does say the Lord over and against the plans and schemes of the enemy. Praise the name of Jesus. And so in the book of Enoch, Enoch was a righteous scribe and Enoch was prophesying to the uh, to Adam and, and to hallelujah Noah and and to his his descendant that we will be living in a time when there will be destruction this is what the prophet Enoch said the righteous scribe Enoch said these are the words of the blessing of Enoch to bless the elect and the righteous who will be living in a day of grace Great tribulation, a day of tribulation when all the wicked and godless, hallelujah, will be destroyed. Enoch goes on to say that God opened his eyes. God opened his eyes. He was a righteous man living in a time, hallelujah, when God wanted to give him more in depth revelation of what will happen futuristic to the, 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 the world at large. And the Bible and, and, the, and the book of Enoch goes on to say that Enoch saw an angel come to him in a vision to show him the holy heaven from where he understood what he was saying God show him that we will be living in a time that is going to be devastating warfare but the vision that Enoch got was not applicable to the time and dispensation that he was in praise the name of the Lord and, the, and Enoch was told that there will be dwelling upon the earth all kind of things and people will be so afraid and God said to Enoch that you got to give some more information concerning what is going to happen now Enoch was giving us a basic understanding of what took place back in those days hallelujah the Enoch was telling us about the descendant of the angel so when we're dealing with spiritual war fair people of God. We need to know where is the origin of the spiritual warfare hallelujah that we're dealing with where did it originated from and so it came to pass that in those days the bible says that the children of men multiply and 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 beautiful daughters fear daughters were born and the angel which is was the son of god from heaven saw that the daughters of men were fear and they lusted after them and they came into them and they multiply and beget children they begat children no one of the ring leader of the angels that was the rebellious watchers that came down in the earth realm to instruct men on the ways of righteousness but when they came in the earth realm they saw that the daughters of men were so fair and they wanted to start their own family so they rebel against God so one of their leader was called Samzaja Sam Jesus said to the other angel, I am afraid of, that you will not truly agree to do this deed. What is the deed that they were talking about? They were talking about violating God's command to come to the earth realm and to instruct men on the ways of the Lord. Like the video and share it. And so what they basically did, hallelujah, they form a mutual implication they form an agreement together to abandon the plan of God and to and to and to join together in one serious rebellion against God and so these angels they were 200 in numbers hallelujah and they descend upon a mount the Mount Aram and when they went to the Mount Aram that's where they were doing hallelujah what they were planning to do to overtake humanity now listen to this there were many of them the, these are the angels that formed this alliance you have number one Sam Jaja which was Sam Jaja was the leader then you have Arakabel, Ramiel Abiel, Tamiel Jamiel, Daniel Ezekiel, Rabbi um, Barakel, Ashiel Amaros, Bartol Aniel and it was a lot of these angels 
angels that form this mutual implication to rebel against God. Now, angels were the ones that was teaching men the way to rebel against God. Now, there were angels who taught men how to do enchantment and sorcery, such as the cutting of roots, and they made them acquainted with plants. And so the women got pregnant and gave birth to the giants. And the last one we heard of, many of people call this the forbidden teaching, but I think this is very, very good for all the exegesis from so we can put a full culmination of what happened in the book of Enoch plus what happened in the Genesis narrative so we can combine them together and get a better understanding. Praise the name of Jesus. And so angels begin to teach man how to do things like the cutting of root as I said. Hallelujah. They begin to inoculate not just the human race. They polluted the birds and the fishes of the sea. Praise the name of the Lord. They by, the book of Enoch says that they begin to sin against birds and bees and reptile and fishes and they devour one another flesh that was the first way, place where eaters of flesh when you hear me praying um, and use this kind of terminology eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. This is the kind of, 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 of thing I'm talking about. So they were eating one another's flesh and drinking one another's blood. The, the book of Enoch says there was so much blood. We're talking about spiritual warfare now. There was so much blood in the earth that the earth began to lay an accusation against those lawless ones. And so it goes on. Hallelujah. We're going to demystify this just a little bit more. And so it goes on that Azizel taught men to use swords and knives and shields and armor that was made from metal. So basically what these angels did was literally teach human being the secret of heaven. And God did not want certain things to be revealed unto humanity. The angel was to keep their estate in their realm and human being was to keep their estate in our physical realm. However, it goes on, the pollution and the perversion was going more and more and more. Angels taught human beings how to make bracelets, uh, uh, ornaments, and jewelry of all kinds and precious stone to beautify themselves. So the warfare has started way back from those times. We had so much blood on the land that God had to send down his angel, which was Raphael, Uriel, Michael, and Zedekiel. They had to come and do an investigation to find out what is going on in God's creation. And, the, and, and, and when they came, hallelujah, they begin to tell God what's going on every time that there is an outcry of war, an outcry of sodomy, an outcry of pollution, God will send angel to investigate. In the Genesis narrative, in Solomon Gomorrah, God sent angels down to Abraham to find out. Hallelujah! He said Abraham, I cannot hide this from you because you and I are in covenant. So God told. Abraham that his plan was for, for Sodom and Gomorrah. There was an outcry of abomination. Libodosh Kayabadosh Kai. And so uh, when we talk about pollution, when we talk about these kinds of things that break the divine protocol, the divine system of God, these kind of things will get God angry. And so when we understand, hallelujah, what derived from Noah, pre, 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 um, pre, preneval time, indeed the entire chronicle, the entire saga of Genesis 6 from 1 to 4 must come to our mind that from the inception of time, 
These kinds of beings want to annihilate the human race so that they can bring about their own race and own species. So there is a battle for dominion. There is a battle for humanity. There's a battle, hallelujah, that is going on in the earth to take what God has given unto us. Can you like the video and share it in the prophetic name of Jesus? And so one do not need to discriminate something because you don't understand it. In the name of Jesus, there is a lot of occultic things that are going on around us. And many Christians are still wondering what in heaven is going on. We don't know these things. Hallelujah. I am here tonight to open your eyes in the name of Jesus. It is central in the New Testament passage about spiritual warfare. Paul, the apostle, tell his reader the nature of the battle that we are facing and how we are to fight it. The first section in spiritual warfare, Paul cover a specific way that we need to destroy this kind of stronghold, Makashata, in order for us to gain the victory of the enemy. We need to know the enemy that we're up against. We need to know that he's a very strategic. Satan is a strategy. Satan knows to war with us in the visible and in the invisible. He's not just coming himself. He's having his imps. He's having angels. He's using all kinds of schemes and gadgets to derail us in the prophetic name of Jesus. But we need to know that the battle is the Lord. God is our commanding chief. The general commander give us an instruction because we are his battle acts and weapons of war. We are the one that God is going to use to defeat the plans of the enemy. So our general commander says number one, in order for you to overcome, you need to be strong, not in your own strength. Take on this military mentality. You need to be strong in the Lord and be strong in his might. That's what Ephesians 6 verse 10 says. The full meaning of this command is captured in this explanation. Translated in this way. Allow yourself to be continually endowed. Allow yourself to be continually strengthened by the power of God that is available to you. Hallelujah. Another way we can can put it is develop your relationship with God because you're going to need his power to overcome in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But another way we can put it is just as our Christ was dead to self. We need to be dead to self so we can raise from the dead and dwell in Christ, that Christ may dwell in us mightily in the prophetic name of Jesus. Paul specifically admonishes us to put on the old armor of God. How do you allow yourself to be strong? It is by continually repeating the word of God. Let the word of God synchronize in your spirit. Let the word of God anchor in your soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of God will form a spiritual protection. The word of God will perform a specific covering. The word of God will express the purpose that God intended it for. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It will cut asunder John and marrow. It's a discerner of the intent of the heart and the mind. The word of God is our ultimate source for divine strength and effectiveness when we're in a battle because we are not resting with spirit spirits that are novice. We are not wrestling with spirits that are afraid of your tears. We are not wrestling with spirits of that don't study us. The next command our commanding chief gave us, he says, our struggles 
are not with flesh and blood. So get that in your mind. So every time a missile is fired against you, know that it's not coming just from a person. It's coming from an entity. It's coming from a spirit. It's coming from a strong man or a stronghold. It's coming from a prince or a principality or a power. It's coming from a throne or a master spirit. In the prophetic name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the command in chief says, I want to teach you how to overcome. He said, our struggles are real. Our battle that we're wrestling is a match to the debt. Is a it's a it's a fight to the dwell. You cannot say, you know what? Today I feel like I'm a Christian. Tomorrow I don't know who I am. We are in a battle, whether you like it or not. The devil will make sure that you get so tired that you don't even want to get up and put on your armor. Get up and get yourself ready. Your fight is everlasting. There's no ceasefire until Jesus come. We only get a break to recoup and we're back into the battle. Who am I preaching to? In the mighty name of Jesus. So Paul says, this wrestle is a match to the dead. It's not about your physical or material adversary like people. Those are circumstances or structures or organization. It is a against the hierarchy of demonic forces doing battles in the spiritual realm. And that's why when we are targeting our prayer, we need to start plead the blood of Jesus in the spiritual realm. When I get up in the morning, Lord, any demon that is out to an assignment to attack, to destroy, to kill, I plead the blood against their strategy their schemes Rikabo Shakuriai Halebo Doshkai I clothe myself in the armor I put on the armor on my children I clothe my extended and immediate family in the armor of God we are in a real battle any church that you're in and they're telling you that you don't have to fight run for your life because the Bible tells us that we are in a battle Rokosha an, exec an executive summary of chapter 1 and 4, hallelujah, tell us the basic truth about this kind of spiritual battle. Paul wants us to be on the defensive side. He wants us to, to, to know that we are not going to be crippled no matter how at the pursuit of the devil is. Hallelujah. It's because of the struggle that we're in. Why is giving us these tools to equip us? Hallelujah. The next thing our command in chief says, our struggle is not with flesh and blood. That sister that ate you, it's not her. It's a devil. It's a spirit in her. That attack upon your finance, it's a spirit. Labor there is a power there is a root cause to your battle there is a source there is a place of origin there is a place where the enemy is contending with you and what makes it so sad is because many of us do not know the secret to your battle you don't know where it's coming from you're firing shot but you're not eating the target Robocusa. It's good to get before the Lord and to say, my God, oh my God, tell me where this battle is originated from. Is this battle as a result of my sin? Did I open any door, Robocusa? Did my children open any door? What did I do, Lord? Sometimes it's because of your destiny. Why the 
enemy is fighting you. How do I know he fought Joseph? How do I know his brothers tried to kill him? How do I know? Libodoshkai, the greater your destiny is, the greater the battle will be. How do I know he tried to kill Moses? How do I know he tried to kill Jesus? So the greater your, your destiny is, the spirit of Herod will try to murder you. Likatalebodoshka. So you cannot sit back and say, oh, I don't bother the devil. I am just going to be in the blessings all. The Bible says from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffered violence and the violence take it by force. The violence is not asking you, what is your name? What color and creed and ethnicity you're from? The violence is taking your mokusha by force. Rakusha. So if you want to be victorious, you got to put on the armor of God and begin to fire the shot of the world so that you can overcome in the prophetic name of Jesus. The next thing God wants us to know is that Satan is, hallelujah, full of strategies. His strategies are designed to bring deception, to bring confusion, to bring fear, to bring doubt. Rabadushkai. The strategy of the enemy is just to kill and steal. He is such a strategy. He know how to fling that seed. He know how to shoot that arrow in your mind. Shoot that arrow in your spirit. Shoot that arrow. But the Bible says that we should cast down every imagination and every I think that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Rabba Kusha. And if he fires a shot in your brain, giving you a thought that is not of God, you must command it to die. You must command and a replacement the opposite of what he's saying use the word of God to delete it no matter how it's coming you're no good I am ill and spirit fill sickness and disease I no dominion over you when he said you're, you're, you're never gonna be blessed I am blessed in the city I'm blessed in the field I'm blessed when I wake up when I when I go out my cupboard is blessed my children is blessed I am blessed Rokusha Talebede Sky. I am a seed of the blessed. The blessing of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob is my portion. I'm anointed to be blessed. You must use the word of God. When he says your finance will never amount to anything, you need to get up and prophesy according to Psalms chapter 1, 112. Wealth of riches is laid up in the house of the righteous. My house is blessed. Rebecca Shatter, the Lord takes delight in the prosperity of his people. I am blessed with faithful Abraham. You need to speak the word. We're in a battle and what God revealed to me is that the battle is not just to make you confused but we're in a battle for the word if the enemy can get the word out of you he can overcome you Rabadeshka. that's why sometimes when God give you a word immediately after the word comes a great test immediately after the word come a great persecution because the enemy is fighting you for the word and so the reason why our commanding chief is giving us the understanding of what we're up against is because God don't determine for us to fail. Our struggles are real. Our battles are real. We are wrestling in a match that we need the word of God to abound in us. There are spiritual forces forces that are invisible. It is called the invisible ram or the invisible word. The invisible world, hallelujah, is not seen by the physical eyes. The invisible world is very hostile. The invisible world is as a military army, the invisible world of both old enemy and new enemies. Now we need to look at the, 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 the standpoint of a radical warrior in the person of Elijah. 
when Elisha was surrounded by a hostile army, he tell his servant, you know what? You don't even know. Rabba Kushataya, the, the, the heavy, the heavy security system that is with me. You don't even know the angelic military army, Rokosaya, that surround me. Elisha said to his servant, that invisible host, ay, 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 are protecting us. There's no need to panic, Raku Shataya. In Daniel chapter 10, hallelujah, again, the Bible reveal that Daniel was raging war, Rikabo Shataya. He was raging war, firing missile, lifting up prayer, saying, God, certain thing is supposed to be happening, and we're not seeing the manifestation of your spoken word. And Daniel began to intercede. He went on a 21-day fasting, praying and passing prophetic decrees. And the Bible says, from the first day that Daniel set himself to seek the Lord and to pray and to lift up supplication, the word of God states that from that very first day, the answer came from Adonai. But there was a principality. It was a prince over Persia. Persia that was a demonic prince over that region. And that prince held up the prayer of Daniel. Now, Daniel was a righteous man. Daniel was a prophet. Come on, somebody. You better preach with me tonight. And if a prince could be released to all of Daniel prior, what about you and I? Kushanabahai. And Daniel was consistent in prayer. Daniel did not break rank with God. Daniel continued to pray. Rokosaku. The man was sold out. The man was not looking on whether or not God would bless him now. He know in whom he is believing. And he is persuaded, hallelujah, that his God was able to deliver him in the name of Jesus. And Daniel continued to pray. And Daniel prayed. And the Bible says that God sent an angel because when Daniel prayed the first angel that was deployed to release Daniel's hallelujah answer to his prayer which was the interpretation that Daniel need to, to get a better understanding of the future of his nation the Bible says that the angel was deployed now the first angel that was deployed was the prophetic angel Gabriel now Gabriel is the angel Angel that brings a message. He's a messenger angel. He was deployed to prophet Daniel to bring the answer to his prior. But when he came to release the answer, a demon, come on somebody, we're in a battle. A principality, Rokoshai, attacked the angel. Ha! Hey, God Almighty. The principality attacked the angel and prohibited the angel from giving Daniel the answer to his prior. So God had to send another angel. And that was a backup for the first angel because the angel was in a battle with the beast of Persia, the principality over that region. And the Bible says that Daniel Loboruka Sata, hallelujah, angel come and release him. And so is Daniel angel Gabriel begin to tell Daniel what transpired in the spiritual realm. He said, Daniel, don't you know that you're a greatly beloved man? And from the moment you set yourself to seek the Lord, God sent the answer but there was a, 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 a interception. So God had to send another angel to bail me out. Who am I preaching to? Hallelujah. Woe be unto us if we don't want to understand the battle. That's why we have so much casualty. People are running down deliverance now even more than the prophetic. We are in an a, a, a invisible war. The angel had to come and tell Daniel 
exactly what was going on. And so Daniel could understand the reason for the delays. And so it is with us. When we are praying and asking God for something and we don't see it happen immediately, we got to start to think about things that can prohibit the manifestation of that which we're asking God for. Sometimes it is our sin. Sometimes it's a principality fighting our answers. And so what we have to do, many times we have to deploy angel. We got to ask the Lord, Lord, I've been praying five years, six years. Over this thing. And God, there's no manifestation. There's no answer. Like the video and share it. Father, I want you to deploy a new set of angels to assist my angel. We're using it from a biblical perspective. Hallelujah. If Daniel could go under so much attack, come on, like the video. I know I am preaching to you tonight. Yes, if Daniel could go under so much attack and he was a righteous man of God, Lord, I am asking whatever is blocking and stopping my angel from manifesting that which I have been asking. I ask in the prophetic name of Jesus that you will send battalion of angels to relieve my angel so that he can bring my answers to my request in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let us go deeper now. So when we talk about the spiritual warfare and many people are saying, oh, every day is battle, battle, battle. There will be no cease fire until Jesus Christ come. You can walk in power, walk in the supernatural, know all the scripture, but the devil is going to fight you. Rikabo Shataya. He is, Paul says, an effectual door has been opened unto me. Rakashata. But there are many adversaries. There are people and spirits that wants to block my entrance. That want to stop and block me from entering into what God has for me. It can be your ministry. It can be your marriage. It can be something that you've been believing God for. There are powers and spirits that wants to block and stop and I jack but I stand in the name of Jesus to declare that we are going to get the victory because one with God is majority our El Enion, which is interpreted as God the Most High, indicate that we are to possess the earth. Halebodoshkai. Adonai says the earth belongs to us. We are possessors of this earth realm. And no devil, Rabbi Kushai, is going to dispossess, demote, derail us because we are going to do the thing the right way so that God can get the glory out of what we're doing in the prophetic name of Jesus. Now people need to understand this is the dispensation and I'm going to just drop it on you tonight that everything that God is doing is very significant to your life, to your gifting and calling and purpose and destiny in the prophetic name of Jesus. There is a multiplication of things that are against us. We have occultic science. We have a white magic. Let me just name out a few. Can I go deeper? I want to go deep with you. So when we come to, 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 to this this kind of, 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 of teaching of the kind of battles that we're up against and people are saying oh my god, oh my god I'm having a witchcraft battle oh my god, you don't understand that there are many, many things that the enemy is using against the church, using against the people of God to break us, to devour us there are, here are some of the things that we're dealing with we're dealing with juju and uju and voodoo 
We're dealing with crystals. Who am I preaching to, Holy Ghost? Take the glory, Lord. Ayabakusha. We're dealing with voodoo, evil curses, enchantment, chantings, and whispers. We're dealing with charms and crystals, axes and vexes, vandu and voodoo. We're dealing with oodoo. We're dealing with incense burning. We're dealing rabakusha with kango magic. We're dealing with astral projection. We're dealing with astral attack. Astral magic. We're dealing with makoshakuria bahaya. We're dealing with burning of kango, kango magic, sex magic. We're dealing with blood sacrifice, and I'm just naming a few blood sacrifices, blood ritual, hallelujah, voodoo dolls, vexation curses. We're dealing with bottle curses. We're dealing with the cutting of root. Vexes from berries. We're dealing with, oh God, powers, powders, pipe, smoke. We're dealing with evil tobacco being used as a way to bewitch people. We're dealing with herbs and eggs, serpents and scorpions. We're dealing with venomous oils. Hurabashataya. We're dealing with bewitchment. We're dealing with all kinds of Curses, injects, hallelujah, projects, hallelujah. We're dealing with all kinds of objects. Then we're dealing with all kinds of incantation that can bring accident, misfortune, poverty, poison, death spells, spells of destruction. So the church need to come up higher. It is a time of coming up higher. In the prophetic name of Jesus, we see all the prophet Elijah under the battle. And Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, hallelujah, verse 12, that the conflict is not with flesh and blood. In the prophetic name of Jesus, we are involved in a spiritual war. We're involved in an invisible war. We are involved in in the cosmic conflict of eternal hallelujah war we're involved in this conflict in the cosmic realm that has eternal implication lives are at stakes destiny are at stake ministry are at stake the enemy has tragedy that is a Affecting us every day. When last have you ever just have a month when there is no battle? You just sit down and sup a cup of tea or a glass of juice and there is no battle. When last did you just sit down and say, okay, mm, my mind is okay. My marriage is okay. My children is okay. Oh, thank you, Lord. When last have you had... And then count away, just sit back and say, oh my God, thank you so much. There's just so much peace. Ah, it's been a while because we're always fighting and contending with all kinds of spirits and power. And so the enemy's tragedy affect us every day hallelujah second corinthian chapter 10 3 to 5 says though we walk in the flesh we do not war according to the flesh but the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh who am i preaching to hallelujah to the lamb of god the weapons of our warfare are divinely empowered by god Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare are divinely empowered by the Lord. Hallelujah. For massive destruction against the fortresses of darkness. Hallelujah. Let us destroy all kind of religious speculation. Because you have some people that they are so religious. And they know that it's not well with them. You come in to quote all the scripture, but what are you saying? Is everything okay with you? Rabo Shataya. 
We are destroyed, the Bible says, because there is a lack of knowledge. Some of us have the knowledge, but we lack appropriating the knowledge of God. And so we cannot hide behind the veil and just say everything is fine when we know according to the word of God and the knowledge of God invested in us that we are to fight, we are to resist the enemy using the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And so in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says the God of this world has blinded the mind of the unbeliever so that they might not see the light and the glory of Christ who is the image of God. And so if we have powers that are literally fighting us to blind, to, to separate, to distract, to destroy us, we have to be equipped for the battle. Our foe is formidable. He is formidable. The goal of Satan comes in three words that the Bible tells us is his basic characteristic. Killing, stealing, and destroying. Praise the name of Jesus. Satan's aim is to destroy God's people, to discredit them, to cause the Christ in us not to manifest. Satan knows the word. So we cannot just rely on just knowing the word. We got to put the word in action. Satan quoted scripture in the book of St. Matthew chapter 4. He was using the word against Yahweh. Hallelujah. So we have to, hallelujah, arm ourselves with the word and faith so that we will have effectiveness when we're dealing with this enemy. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8, be sober in your spirit. Be sober. Be sober means to be alert. Hallelujah. Be alert because your adversary, the devil, he pulls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Hallelujah. That means that he is never resting. He's constantly going up and down, around and around, seeking an occasion to destroy, to kill. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I like what Dr. Uh, 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 Dr. Sandra G says. She says, let the word we learn, let us use it effectively. Because what we don't understand is that many of the time when the enemy will come at us is not when we're in the church service. So everything that you have learned, you are going to be put in battles that you're going to have to appropriate that which you have learned. In Jude chapter 9, when Satan was uh, opposing the chief angel, the archangel Michael, the Bible says the angel Michael did not dispute with the devil. Ha! Huh. You see, many people don't know that even though the devil is a fallen demon, we have to also have an elder respect in the sense of not obeying him, but not picking a fight with the devil. I will hear pastor says slow foot and this and that the chief angel who is the angel michael did not bring any railing accusation onto the devil what did michael say when he was in a dispute with satan michael say to the devil hallelujah the lord rebuke thee this was satan trying to pick hallelujah a fight with the chief angel Michael. They were contending over the, the, the body of Moses where it should be buried. And instead of arguing with the devil, where the many people does that, when they get frustrated, they argue with the devil. And that's what the devil wants us to do. We have no business arguing with the devil. 
the chief angel Michael says, uh, the Lord rebuke you. He didn't even say, I, Michael, rebuke you. He said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. So Satan is real. Let us stop, hallelujah, belittling, hallelujah, the teaching that we get from the Bible. Because our faith and our spirit can be so bankrupt that we will literally fail when it's time for a battle in the prophetic name of Jesus. And so when we understand all the word of God declares Satan. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 11 and verse 15, Satan is known as a prince. Yes. Luke 11 verse 15 declare that he is the prince of the power of the year. Praise the name of Jesus. Satan attacked Job in Job 1 and verse 6. Hallelujah. There are many things. Things that people go through in life and some of them are either blaming God and blaming other people and the real culprit which is Asitan, it is his Hebrew name, is the one who is orchestrating all those things from the belly of hell. Hallelujah. He wants us to fall prey to his scheme, but God wants us to be victorious in the name of Jesus. Now last night when I came online, I was telling us that we're in a season when there's a lot of advanced technological things that are, are programmed, things that are structured, and if we don't have that understanding of what we're up against, then we are going to be failing in things that God wants us to win in. What are you saying, Prophetess Anna? I spoke about uh, 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 um, the kind of technologies that are coming in. I spoke about nanotechnology. I spoke about transhumanism. I spoke about various things that is up and ass as a people and as a nation. No, God wants his children, not only to know what is against us in this end time, but he wants us to use the scripture to decode what the devil is doing, irrespective of what culture you are from. Hallelujah. The word of God stand predominant. The word of God is settled in heaven. The scriptures cannot be broken. What God did for us, what God did for Paul, and Silas, he is still doing it for us today. All we got to do, brother, call is to be ready to implement whatever it is what, that God is telling us to do. No, we're in a time when we only hear preachers preach about the rapture. We only hear messages that stir us to keep us in this mode of preparation the church hallelujah is lost in, the, lost in the essence of what we are being prepared for we are being prepared for a next place this is not our final place paul says if is in this life I have hope I will be one that is most miserable. And so what we need to understand is that we are in the season when all the technologies that we are seeing, hallelujah, coming to the forefront at, at this time are being orchestrated, hallelujah, by the Antichrist. There are scriptures that are not yet fulfilled. We are in the time of the dispensation where we are seeing a lot of scripture, a lot of biblical truth have been discovered. Things that people used to be skeptic about, people are finding these things to be true. We are in the time and the dispensation that the apostles and prophets wish they were in this time. I told you that some of these apostles and prophets refrain from marriages because they thought that they were in the time and the dispensation of Christ's return. We are seeing the scriptures 
all around us. There is a paradigmic shifting that is taking place upon creation. And it's not just an America, Jamaica, Grenada issue. It's a global issue. It's a global awakening. The writings are on the wall. God is about to roboco satire to come. And so the reason for my message today is to tell us that there will be an increase of spiritual battles. Yes. As we approach the time of the coming of the Lord. What kind of mentality do you need to have? You need to have the mentality of Queen Esther. In the book of Esther, Esther declare her fate. If I perish, I perish. I am not giving up. I have an assignment to do. It doesn't matter what you say or do, devil. My name is already sealed. In the Lamb's book of life, I'm sealed. With the spirit of grace, I'm sealed. Until the day of redemption, nothing you can do can cause me to divert from for my belief and my faith in God, in the prophetic name of Jesus. We're in a time and a season when we're seeing a lot of scenarios. Elch is belching out everything to gain a stronghold on us. We are seeing things that are modified. Listen, it's not just human beings that are being modified. Can I preach up in here? We also have Robokusata, genetically modified food, genetically modified medication. Everything is biologically enhanced by biological science, genetically modified, GM for short. Our food is modified and many people are getting sick. Our medication, come on, like the video and share it. Beside potential problems that we have surround us with transcendent animals. Hallelujah. Can I go deeper with you? Scientists are taking animal species and human species and combining them together. We have cited laboratories that are doing all kinds of things in the scientific industry. We are in a war, Dr. Sandra. We are in a war and we have to understand that God is getting ready to lift us up out of here. Who am I preaching to? Hallelujah! The battle is getting hot. The battle is intensified because the rapture of the church is up on us. Now we know the Bible doesn't speak the word rapture. It speaks about caught away. But theological uh, and theologian as um, 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 bring this word in one big um, a way of defining it by saying the rapture to be caught away, to be taken away, to be taken out. So a wider ramification from the similar control experiments that we're seeing that suggests that a lot of technological things are up an ass, insect genes animals, DNA, and all kind of modified organism. So when I say we're in a battle, we're in a battle of all kinds of decree. We're in a battle, oh yes, that we must know the God that we serve. We must avoid the contamination. I hear the Lord says, we must stop bringing messages that will get the people ready for the rapture. Oh yes, because it's going to get bloody down here. It's going to get serious down here in the prophetic name of Jesus. When we talk about genetically modified ingredients that is put in our food, put in our tablets, put in this, put in that, that are literally attacking our bodies causing us to have a lot of bacteria and viruses and genetic hallelujah, malfunction. Our own genetic structure is literally being hammered constantly. Sister Susie Thompson, I know I'm preaching. 
In the prophetic name of Jesus, you're taking all kind of sign of sign and spell. Nothing is happening. You're fasting and you're praying. You need to understand that God is sending us a message that we need to take responsibility for what is going on around us. Oh yes, we need to understand that being modified genetically is going to cause us a lot of problem. So we have all sorts of people right now, saints, you need to wake up that are suffering from intestinal bacteria. You're eating right, you're drinking right, then where am I getting this bacteria? Before, no, I never used to be sick every minute. Why am I sick any minute? You are in a war belly kushata labadush guy does that mean that we are to stop eat no the bible says that all food must be prayed over giving thanks unto the lord so this is going to make us serious in the way we personify ourselves we are going to have to make prayer our way of life prayer is our antibiotic Prior will, 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 will push inside our blood. Prior is the one that's going to transfer the blood of Jesus in us to heal us of this intestinal flora problem and this persistent allergy and all kind of attack up on our body. Then we have another warfare that we're in that's going to complicate the issue even more. Synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is one of the newest era of biological research that seek to design new forms of life and biological Hallelujah. function not found in nature. What are you preaching about, Prophetess Anna? These are scientists. These are people that are going outside of the paradigm of what God intended for us to live in and it's causing a lot of havoc in the earth realm. We're in a war. We're wrestling not against flesh and blood. And so as these new discoveries are done, oh yes, it's enabling Satan. Because when we disobey God, the Bible says that when we break out the wall, a serpent will bite us. So when we disobey God, sickness will come in all kind of organism, breaches in our body, breaches in our DNA, hallelujah, breaching, giving us all kind of hormonal imbalance says hallelujah Janet all kinds of sickness all kind of free radical all kind of things are fighting us who am I preaching to I hear the Holy Ghost said preach my child oh yes Rabakushai there is a time and a place for everything we need the blood hallelujah to be a covering the blood to be a rear God my stand with God that that every day I need to commit myself more to him. Am I preaching to you? Like the video and share it. Ah, we have all kinds of animal rights activists and all kind of things, but we're not finding any ones that is operating in the human right activists against us having all these things being pushed up an ash that is making us sick. Rabo Shataya. Then we have warfare coming from human cloning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us understand that I'm saying the enemy is taking us from every angle. Human cloning cloning hallelujah was raised up from in the early 19th centuries oh yes they are cloning human embryos hallelujah and employ for the human embryos as a stem cell and this kind of stem cell kind of 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 of, of, of um 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 womb it doesn't need hallelujah the womb of a woman a 
female, whether it's an animal female or a human female, they can bypass all of that. We're in a war and they create this womb that and a cell that they can grow a fetus in embryos in come on somebody we are breaking what god's standard are and you're saying prophetess just take it easy oh lord we have no other helper but our god who am i preaching to this kind of breach is redefining human and human rights we where biotechnology is the ultimate edit, including not only, hallelujah, redefining what is mean to be a human, but with the redefining, hallelujah, subsequently human right as well. Who am I preaching to help us down here, Lord? Hallelujah. Then we have this transhumanism. Then we have all these kind of gender clash, everything brethren is shaking are you hearing me ha in the name of jesus it is shaken up then we have nano tech nano technology and cyber tech cyber genetics hallelujah where they can merge human brain with machine and you're telling me to all my peace get off my broadcast in the mighty name of jesus and go and do your research and find out what we're up against and why when we come together oh yes we must pray for each other because the time is up and as and the time is now we're in a real war can you imagine being merged your brain being merged with the brain of uh, 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 with, with, with machines Halebosha, nanotechnology the science of engineering material hallelujah or devices as an atomic or molecular scale between 100 nanotech meter so these kinds of interference that we're gonna have in in the physical realm will literally usurp the things that god did when he originally made us uh, engineering scientists uh, uh, that are doing this nanotechnology called um advanced kind of uh, 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 um, 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 development hallelujah foresee something even greater that may have to do with the world at large oh yes very soon we're seeing china's with a lot of 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 of, of robots no wonder the battle of armageddon is going to be so empowered by all these deadly demons yahweh himself have to come down not even angels and he has to just kill them off with the breath of his nostril read your bible very well so he tell me that we're going to be in so much warfare that even our human effort cannot help there's going to be so much onslaught that we're going to need the divine intervention of the lord Shakaya, in the name of jesus christ the son of god transhumanism and genics these are the kind of things we're up against we're in the 21st century study to show yourself approved not only with the word but get into science brethren we are approaching the cashless society who am i preaching up in here to yes the implantable biochip the implantable chip the cashless society when you're not going to need any form of identification because everything that is to i as an id is inserted in you so you cannot lose it they're coming out with so much different tracking devices all kind of things holy spirit and so we need the lord if there's ever a time we need him we need him now oh yes we have another thing that is called germline genetics engineering these are all projecting stuff in us germline genetic engineering engineering has the potential to actually achieve its goal hallelujah hallelujah in human being 
providing and improving their genetics. So when this time come, when the Antichrist come and people start to get genetically modified in their body and you have a sickness for 20 years, hallelujah, but when you get your genes upgraded, you no longer have those sickness. Do you think people is going to want to hear this kind of gospel? Everybody's going to run to where they can get genetically modified so that they can be ill, but the danger is going to be in losing your soul in the mighty name of Jesus because once those genetic things enter into you, it's going to change your genetic makeup, it's going to change your DNA, it's going to alter you, hallelujah, and you're not going to be the human 100% that God has called you to be. I heard Prophet Apostle Bromby is saying that artificial intelligence is here. Artificial intelligence is here a long time. And when we speak this kind of word, people are saying, oh, uh, when you call the banking um, um, company or any other company and you call outside of their time of operation, you will hear a scientific intelligent being come on the line saying that the time is so and so. I, I get this number is from 20135, yada, yada, yada. If you're the person, press one. If you're not the person, press two. If this, that, that. So we already see that things are already set in motion for that kind of technological advanced era. And that is a spiritual battle as well. The next thing you need to know to know is that our identity is not just being been, been taken just with our credit card or our, our social security and stuff. There are literally demonic beings that are cloning us in the realm of the spirit. Who am I talking to? So with this advanced technological era that we're in, like the video, this is very important information. I want you to share this video uh, in all the group. We had a lot of share last night. I'm asking for more share tonight because this is a wake-up call to the body of Christ and to us as God's people as a whole in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, when you're speaking about prophesy, about us prophesy, about this, everybody's getting excited. But storing messages like this, people all they want to hear. They just want to live in the now. And remember the story of the ten virgin: Five were wise and five were fools. So if you are, hallelujah, in a time when God is giving you the information that these things do not take you unaware and you want to behave like the foolish virgin and this thing come upon you unaware, you have no one to blame but yourself in the prophetic name of Jesus. So what, the, listen, L is a belching out all kind of L belch scenario. L is belching out everything is going on um, like madness, chaos, it's it, it it moral declinage, all kind of things that are dehumanizing the human race. And God wants us, his people, to rest that in, in, in him. Hallelujah. Whichever path that is taking us, it is not for us to be afraid. Now, transhuman, hallelujah. In, 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 Transhumanism is very serious. Can you imagine God make you a particular way and you want to change? You want to alter everything that God has done to prove something else. So this is the time when we have to understand that heaven is a governmental bureaucracy. Heaven is a what? Heaven is a governmental bureaucracy. Oh, do you know that? The Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is coming to earth. And God's government is an eternal government. 
hallelujah, that never fails. In Isaiah chapter 9, the word of God tell us unto us, a, chi a child is born, a son is given, his name shall be called the wonderful counsel, the everlasting father. He is the prince of glory. He is the original one world government that is coming to the earth. This counterfeit one world government that is orchestrated by Lucifer is a counterfeit. Yehushua Amashia, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming with that one world government and it's going to be a government that rules in justice according to to, to Psalms 89, the foundation of his throne is justice. It is inch upon justice and judgment are the foundation of the throne of our God. So heaven is a governmental bureaucracy that operates the counsel of God. They carry out the decrees of God from heaven in the earth. Biblical color refers to the kind of hierarchy that we are dealing with as demonic councils, demonic assembly of satanic hierarchy. Praise the Lord. And they comprises of what the Bible refers to as the fallen gods. These are the God with the small G O D. They are the demi God. Hallelujah. And so the Lord, the most high has given us the ability to learn the things that we need to know as we are advancing in this kind of spiritual warfare. How can we secure our home? How can we secure and protect our dwelling place? Like the video and share it. Number one, we need personal guidance. The personal guidance that we need is from the Lord. Hallelujah. Then we need personal protection. Then we need our families to protect it, our dwelling place to be protected. Then we need a divine shield around us. Then we need the Lord to surround us with a wall of fire. Then we need to conduct spiritual warfare in our homes and in our families, uh, with our immediate and extended family to cut off whatever the enemy is trying to program in them. Then we need the Lord to defend Feed all these witchcraft and electrical witchcraft and all the satanic quantum matrix that are around us. We need satanic matrix to be melt by the fire of God in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God in Jesus name. And so many need to know that from in the 1960s, matrix algebra has become part of every curriculum in most scientific, mathematical, and educational institution, every business programs and colleges, and graduate school levels. Considered by most student to be like, oh, sometimes it is so hard. They will go to their work in college in order to get this degree. But you need to know that mathematical numeric numbers are also being used in the demonic realm to administrate all kinds of curses on us. So you may walk in a place and step upon something numeric and just say that is a number and don't know that that is something that has programmed there. Most people fail to understand that Satan and his world, they are limited. So because they are limited, they have to use evil spirit. They have to use demonic uh, 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 at 
agents such as animals now when i speak about this kind of spiritual warfare many people get oh my god but it's an eye opener you need to understand that the enemy is so desperate to recruit both human and and, and animals and whatever he can find as a conduit to carry out his diabolical assignment is going to do it so he is using insect ants flies everything birds crocodile anything that is available to the enemy rabashata debe kusha ilebe duku sataya he is going to use it to advance his kingdom so most people and these are christians who understand that we're in a battle they don't want to know they don't want to know. They don't want to know that Satan is real. They don't want to know that God is still going to whip his butt. They don't want to know that the world of Satan, they are limited. Since he's unable to create new evil spirit he has to find a way come on somebody i'm educating you to manage his resources satan is very meticulous and his demons that he employs so because he cannot hallelujah is not omnipotent like god he has to find a way to manage his resources with what he has available to him did not the word of god says that he is busy going through and for the earth seeking whom he may devour praise god almighty and so what satan does and what not just satan but the people who work in the dark realm and 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 and, and the dark the word of darkness so hallelujah what he does he he set up what i call a matrix a matrix in each human being i want to go deeper he then connect that human person their own and everything that pertained unto them in order to control their movement prophetess what in heaven are you talking about well we have a basic understanding that when the mark of the beast is fully implemented and when satan all hell break loose in the earth realm because the holy spirit will not be here at that time because the bible says that he that let it will let the holy spirit is given to us for a time and a season the holy spirit is going to be taken out of the way and then the son of perdition is going to be revealed which is is the devil hallelujah and so a, a matriarch is what satan use to really anchor himself in your life in your home and connect you with other people he then connect each person in a home using one another um, in that demonic matriarch to facilitate the movement of evil spirit from one person to another let me go deeper because he's not omnipotent like god this demonic matriarch though it is invisible to the physical eyes is a control movement or a control monument that evil spirit converse to each other are you true why you demons know how to communicate to their one another they can be in africa and communicate to someone in in another country because it is the spiritual realm by which they operate from so they use what i call a satanic matriarch that help to set up um, 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 their communication correspondingly he will set up believers come on he will set up this kind of matriarch to control individuals communities countries and he has matriarchs in different states and countries satan uses this system of matrix to control evil spirit throughout the world 
am I communicating? To defeat the satanic matrix, people have to develop a very strong, hallelujah, a, a, a spirit in the Lord. Christians need to pray to the Lord. Come on, saints. And I want you to write me right on this podcast. If when you wake up in the morning, you feel like, dear God, what's wrong with me? You go and you take your vitamin and you feel like I something is wrong. I, I'm just so drained. I'm so, my energy feel has been depleted. And so, yes, Caroline say that's true. And so what they do when you are not watchful and tactful in your spirit and you just spend one way prior, uh, you don't know that your energy field has been invaded. So what most Christians don't know is that they need to pray and need to ask the Lord to manage their spirit and to remove every form of satanic matrix and adjust our system. When Satan is forced to continually adjust his matrix by our prior, it also will do him much harm and his evil work. So when we ask the Lord, to destroy the matrix, adjust the matrix in our body, remove every satanic matrix that wants to embody us in the prophetic name of Jesus. It literally frustrates and sabotage the work of Satan as he tries to attack our matrix in our internal matrix in the mighty name of Jesus. I also noticed that matrix change systematically that and it forces Satan to take his warfare from your home from your body because he cannot establish a matrix that is supervised by his demonic spirit in order to get information on you now one will say prophetess then how do i pray a prayer that will manage my matrix how do i pray a prayer prophetess anna that my personal matrix will not be invaded and many of you are saying prophetess i didn't even know that there was a matrix well whether you know or not and, and, and many of you who go to yoga class and you're, you're dabbling in all kinds of things, you're literally opening yourself for demonic matrix to invade your personal matrix. And then when you wake up in the morning, your energy field is ruined. Your energy field is depleted. You feel like you will just up over and lay down for another um, um, couple of hours. This is how you approach the Lord. Remember when we started out the broadcast, I spoke about the realms and dimension of principalities. We have powers. We have rulers of darkness. We have wicked spirit in high places. We have master spirit. We have prince and presidents. Chief princes, we have oh, a lot of these strong men and subordinate evil ones we have rulers and we talk about the ruler spirit that was a prince over persia that attacked prophet daniel from getting the answers to his prior so we have prince we have princes we have uh, 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 um, um, subordinate evil ones no many times people just focus on the strong man and they don't talk about the strong woman if there's a strong man there's a strong woman. If there's a prince, there's a princess. If there's a king, there's a queen. Hallelujah. And if you doubt me, there are satanic kings and queen. Jezebel is a satanic queen. And we're still dealing with her spirit in the earth realm. She is dead, but the spirit of Jezebel is it is out. The spirit of Jezebel is still around. So I always tell people when you're going to battle, you need to number one, understand 
what you're up against so that you can have the right approach and not just run into a spiritual battle ba 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 and you're still not getting results now number one you need to ask the lord question in prior daniel not Daniel, um, um, Joshua, in the book of Joshua, pray, question, and prayer. It's very good to ask the Lord. David also pray, question, and prayer. Lord, what am I up against? Because we will weary ourselves dealing with all these kinds of warfare and not screening into the one that is applicable to us now. I mean, every day we have to fight a different kind of battle, but it's good to know the one that we are dealing with now am i talking praise the name of the lord and so this is how you approach it you approach it by going to your heavenly father in the name of jesus to ask the lord what am i up against am i up against master spirit am i up against kings queens princess presidents Am I up against which one of the demons are attacking me, Lord? And so you will have a better approach. Whether you're ra -ba 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 -ba, you're weary, you're tired, nervous system breaking down, all kind of attack, and you're still not getting the victory. Praise the name of Jesus. So when you're dealing with your spiritual matrix, number one, every time you go to the Lord, you need to go to the Lord as a child. You need to go to the Lord. Come on, like the video and share the video, please. You need to go to the Lord. You are desiring the Lord to answer your prayer. You are desiring the Lord to do something in you that he has never done before. You're in a battle. You need a strategy. You need the Lord to answer you by fire. You need the Lord to do something in you because there, there is a different approach to everybody battle every battle is found differently you cannot use the same strategy all the time different battle requires different kinds of approach and so when we're in a battle we have to go to the lord and ask the lord question am i talking i need to know what i'm up against lord how do i approach this or was this battle engineer against me what do i need to do lord is this battle as a result of something that I've done, did I open any door and you begin to repent? Always have that kind of approach. You don't want to be blaming people. You don't want to be doing stuff. Sometimes your battle and your warfare is as a result of Satan seeing that great things are ahead of you and he wants to block and stop it. So he create a warfare. Daniel didn't do anything. Daniel was in consecration and prior and his and his answer, prayers were answered. So it's not that you have done something all the time that will cause your enemy to attack you, but always have that approach first when you go to the Lord to make sure that the slate is clean and there is no demonic, hallelujah, power or spirit giving a legal right to speak against you because you did something wrong that opened the door. And many times our attack come as a result of us opening the door to this demonic spirit whether we open it consciously or unconsciously unconsciously in the prophetic name of jesus amen and so let us uh, 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 go back now um to how we deal with a satanic matrix for those of you who have the knowledge of matrix respond to me i want to send matrix delivering prior on my page in a few more days just as soon as i finish constructing the prior how do i preserve my matrix the matrix of my home the matrix of my children from constant demonic bombardment what is the approach how do i win this battle and when I get up in the morning, my body is fogged out. I feel like someone was literally beating me in my sleep. Who am I preaching to? 
Does did anything I say fit the description of what you're going through? Saints, if that is what you're going through, then you need to know that your energy field has been ruined. Now, many of us don't know that people who practice shamanism, uh, that those are people who worship animals and they invoke animal spirits on you. And many people who do this kind of witchcraft, they know the depths, breadth, and length of witchcraft. And so when they're coming against you, they're not going to come as a novice. So why should God people not be educated on what they need to do to protect themselves from these onslaught of the enemy? Come on, I'm talking the next thing I am just learning is that there is a witchcraft, we're dealing with spiritual warfare, that is called parasitic witchcraft. Parasitic witchcraft. These are witchcraft that is astrology, astral projected in your body that cause you to be scratching and it keep you up all night you can't sleep something biting you in the back something crawling up and down in your body it's a projection and that kind of projection is called uh, uh, um, 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 um. it is it's an insect kind of spirit it is called parasitic witchcraft praise the name of the lord I want to go a little deeper. I have to give you information tonight. So when you want to deal with your matrix, this is how you're going to approach it. You're going to say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority of your blood, by the authority of your name, I come to you. Come on. You can repeat it after me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I come in your name, the name of Jesus, by the authority of your blood, by the authority of your name, I ask that, hallelujah, you adjust my quantum matrix inside of me, across all space, all quantinium, all dimension, all timeline, all frequency, all domain in this universe, across all bubbles of the universe, across all plane of existence, so that satanic kings and rulers, presidents, princess, chief princes, strong man, strong woman, queens, Roko Shataya, and king, and their subordinate evil ones, that their jump gate technologies, fractal gate technologies, hallelujah, all their transporters, fractal gate transporters, time travel, fractal gate time travel, dimensional travel, oh yes, fractal dimensional travel, wormwood travel, hallelujah, all their implants, Walk through wall, sleep array, remote viewing capability, and radionics technologies will not enter into my body. I come against their death signal. I come against their disease signal technology. It will not function in me. Who am I praying for? It will not function in my children. It will not function in my loved one. Then you need to address the quantum matrix using the same kind of prayer for your home. Rakashai. Then you need to ask the Lord to remove all occultic interferences. What are you preaching about prophetess? As soon as you start to pray, some of you will notice shadowy stuff moving. Rikabo shakaya. You have to bring it to the Lord and ask the Lord to de de destroy all their cloaking cast and cloaking mechanism that these demonic spirits can no longer have any dominion in your body. Now, when I'm in serious warfare, 
There's a different kind of way I approach. As I said, it's always good to go and ask the Lord, Bakashata, to tell you what kind of battle you're facing. You may be having a financial attack, but it's legion on your case that say you will never prosper. You, you will be depleted financially. And these are just the symptom. No money, lack of money, financial embarrassment, bankruptcy. All of those are just the underling. But we need the strong man, which is the controlling prince, which is the territorial master over that region of your finance. If it is your health, you may be having cancer, you may be having diabetes. Those are just the, the little branches that go from under the strong man. The strong man can be a principality of debt and hell. The, the strong man can be a principality of premature debt. When you look in the history of your bloodline, Many of them didn't live for 50, 70, 60 years. So you may be dealing with cancer and you know that cancer will eventually kill you. So you need to go to the war room, Mark Shadabahai of the court of heaven. By the shed blood of Jesus Christ, you need the Lord to go back into your bloodline and pull up every document, detail it, every covenant, every contract, every verdict, every dedication, every lease, rakashata, anyone that give the devil the legal right to kill us prematurely, we're bringing it to the court of heaven. As I said, heaven is a bureaucracy, bureaucracy, a governmental bureaucracy. God has a throne. He said in the book of Hebrews chapter 3 that we should come boldly to the throne of grace, that we will find strength in the time of need so we can go to the throne in the prophetic name of Jesus and ask the Lord to deliver us. And so you may be dealing with a marital devil and you didn't know that in your blood and we're talking about we're wrestling against, uh, uh, we're wrestling against, not against flesh and blood. Nobody in your family stayed together. You married three times. Your mother married two times. Your sister is on the verge of divorce. Who is the ruling prince over that family? Who is saying that you will never marry? Who is saying that you will never enjoy marital bliss? Who give the devil the right to speak that over you? So you got to be ready to take the bull by the arm and say, my mother didn't enjoy a marriage, but today the curse is broken. This generation will not be plunged into that kind of lifestyle because the curse breaker is here according to the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 13. The Bible says that Jesus Christ became a curse. Lebe Labakush, because curse ibobosh kai kush kai is every makusa, every one that hangs on a tree. So that means there's a trading that take place. So immediately when Jesus Christ hung on the tree, a big trading took place. Holy Ghost, he took my shame, he took my sin, he took my poverty, he took my curse, he put on me his blessing, he put on me his prosperity, put on me healing. I'm old, elebo shatter, sickness and disease. You have no legal right. What you don't understand, brethren, is that the only way the enemy can stay in you is when he has a legal right. And what Satan does is literally hide from you the legal rights. So you will be battling sickness, taking medication, rock a shatter, but the legal right that give him the permit to stay in your body to stay in your muscles and tissue to stay it is not discovered that's why we need to pray question prior hallelujah what is the cause 
for this curse. The Bible says the curse cost less shall be of none effect. Braku shadabadesh kalabadushkai ne kuriabasaku. So we need to know the reason why is in my finance. The reason why is in my blood pressure. The reason why what the blood of Jesus did for me, I'm not receiving it. Lord, I try to walk in it. I confess the word, but something is holding me bound to this. It is because the enemy has some documents of darkness on you. Rabba Sheke Dabadush Kai is because he has a railing accusation. So no matter how you pray, until you deal with the document of darkness. Makashakaya. We're going to pray tonight. I feel to pray for health tonight. I'm going to give you a template of how you pray for your health. Hayabosha. Number one, we need to identify is there a spirit of death and destruction that is upon me? First is my blood pressure. No sugar diabetes. No, Lord God, I have all kinds of pain and cramp. I cannot even read the word. I'm always sick, always on medication. You need to ask the Lord. Lord, is there an assignment, an agreement, a contract, a verdict, an edict, a declaration, a proclamation, an incantation, an invocation of death and hell that is upon me? And if the Lord said yes, then we need to go to the court and we need to ask the Lord. Father, I come in the name of Jesus, by the authority of your name, I stand in the blood, come on somebody, I hear in my ears that there's a spirit of death and hell that is up on me, that is up on my children, that is up on my bloodline, Heavenly Father, I come before you because your word declare that I should come boldly to the throne of grace, that I will find strength in the time of need, I come boldly, Lord. I renounce the spirit of death in my body. I renounce the spirit of death in my children. I renounce the spirit of death on my health. This is all we were, saints. Come on. I renounce the spirit of death. Oh, yes, in my brain. I renounce the death. The, the spirit of death in my pancreas, my eyes, whichever part of my body, my thyroid, anywhere in my body, Lord, that the spirit of death and hell, orikadash kudushkai, as a legal right, I renounce it. I renounce the bloodline of death. I renounce the third genetic strand of death uh, and hell over me and my children. I renounce the bone marrow, the cellular program. I renounce the programming and markers and all the powers of hell belongs to the spirit of death and hell. Holy Ghost, I serve them a bill of divorcement from my body, from my life, from my children, from my family. Oh, Yaku Shako Rabasaku Rekebo Shataya Mighty God, I ask pre-adventure any hidden documents that is giving them a contract to all right, a covenanted right, hallelujah, up on my body, up on my children, up on my home, I ask, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, that you will pull up the hidden documents, Lord, detailing all contracts, all covenants, all certificate, all vows, all oaths, all dedication, all trading, entangling me, and my children, and you can put your loved one, hallelujah, into the, 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 the spirit of death and hell. I ask in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ that your heavenly host will be loosed on assignment in the prophetic name of Jesus to discover and apprehend every outer part of my being, every outer part 
of my children being that is in hallelujah a covenant or that is in loyalty Rikabo Shataya with the spirit of death and hell I pray Roko Shadabahai that this part of my body this part of my children will be escorted to the throne of heaven to be purged from all spirit of death and hell component and to be completely delivered I know deed come on somebody right I did I did the territories in my body I did the territories in my children body I did my territories only girls I did my territories I did my territories I did my territories Rabo Shadabahai, Rabo Bokusia, I did, Lord, my territories to you. Ebo Shadabahai, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Ekobo Shadabahai, I did my territories. I did my children territories to you. For it is written that you will keep whatever I have committed Unto you against that day. I did Roko Sataya Bahaya. I did it, Holy Ghost and Fire. I did my territories. I feel the Holy Ghost. I did it. Hallelujah. 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 Brabo Shakaya. Hey God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, I did my territories. Come on, somebody. You need to write it. Holy Ghost, I did my territories, Lord. Ay, 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 ay. I did my children territories individually and collectively. I did all the territories. Bakabosh, Brakadishka. Ilebadoshkai, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, hallelujah, I did it, I did it to you, it don't belong to the devil, I did the territories of my body, the territories of my soul, the territories of my mind, the territories of my emotion, I feel God, woohoo, I did it, oh Rabba in the name of Jesus, Hababo Shakuriai. I did it to you. Every territory occupied by the spirit of death and hell. I did it to the Lord. Every territory in the Labo Shakuriai. I did it. I did the territories of my marriage to the Lord. I did the territories of my health to the Lord. I did the territories of my finance to the Lord. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. It is not I that live it, but the Christ that live it in me. I did myself to the Lord. I did, I don't care who sold me out. Hallelujah. I did myself. Oh, I'm of the age of consent. I know right from wrong. I did my Holy Ghost self to God. I am bought with a price. I am bought with the blood. I did myself to the Lord. I did myself to the Lord. I did myself to the Lord. I did Rabashata Bilesh Kodosh. Yakata Riboshkai in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hababosha, he candilibosha. I did everything I own to the Lord in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ. Every territory occupied by debt and hell, every territory in my home. In my, in my children, in my health, my marriage, my ministry, my gifting, my calling, my destiny, my purpose. Oh, even my grandchildren, born and unborn. Raka 
Shata Yamakushaka. I did my bloodline Rabodoshka Yamakushika Delay. Hey God, I did my bloodline to the Lord. I did my marriage to be my marriage now to the Lord. I did everything to you. Braku shake da badoshkai. Raba baba ba. Rikato rabadeshkai. Ikondolobosa. Ikala badoshka. For it is written, the spirit of the Adonai is up on me. For the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel. Raku shake rabahaya. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted and set at liberty them that are bound. Holy Ghost. To appoint unto them that morning Zion to give beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness that I may be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 The devil has nothing on me. I did myself to God. And now Lord. As I did. All the territories. In me. That was occupied. By death and hell. All their genetic codes. Marker, bone marrow. Third DNA strand. Cellular program and blood. And all sentient intelligences, along with their agendas, along with their connected realms, along with their timeline. I did it all over to the kingdom of God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And I invite Jesus, hallelujah, the Lord of hosts, Jesus Christ, the sovereign God, to rule over that territory with a rod of Iron in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. I feel fire. Whoosh, mama, mama, ma. Come on, somebody. Fire is in this place. I did myself. Oh, ba 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 she. Ah, de 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 bo shada da bahaya. Is there anyone under the sound of my prophetic voice that you want to deed yourself? You're giving yourself to the Lord. You're willing yourself over. Come on, like the video. I need you to share this video for me. Mm. Deed yourself to the Lord. Rakashataya. I'm not my own. I'm bought with a price. I, I, I am not my own. I am the Lord's anointed. Who am I talking to? I want to summarize fires on me. I want to have a few words of prophecies. Rabba Shatta, but the fire is much. I'm deeding. Come on, somebody. The reason why the devil is beating you so long and odd is because you have something that you have not deed to him, you, to, to the Lord. You need to give God everything. 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 Come on, somebody. I hear the Lord says, give him everything. Everything, give him everything, give him a kush. Rabadesh ku rabadesh kai yibaba kush. Shedebe kushai. Many of you don't understand that it will take a lot of more spiritual battle to keep what God is blessing you with. If you don't, I have a few prophecies for some of you on. I see major warfare going on and all of that warfare is getting ready to shift. And I want to prophesy to some of you tonight. Just give me a second in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is about to blow up 
bashed and dashed to pieces the plans and the purpose of the enemy. Let us get some worship in this place. Uh, we're gone on a day where we're going to spend too much time thinking about the devil, the devil, the devil. Once we understand his strategy and know that he is just going to do what he got to do and we're going to do what we got to do. We're going to prophesy and legislate what the kingdom of God is saying. What is the king saying? Uh, to veto all the diabolical called plans of the enemy it's time for the church to arise this is our time come on we need to arise in the prophetic name of Jesus oh Lord I am hearing something God is telling me about the book of Habakkuk your change is coming uh, 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 uh. Lady G yeah. Lady G, you're connected to a lady by the name of Gail. Gail, 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 Gail. I'm hearing Gail. La Barosh, Bradish Kai. I want to prophesy to some of you on tonight. If you're connected to a Gail, Rabo Shataya Bahaya, God says to tell Gail that the publishing company is going to assist her on the books that she's authoring. Fear not, you are more precious and valuable to me than the sparrows and I will not allow the things that I have invested in you to be thwarted, says the Lord. There are some of you that there is a heavy warfare that is over you. Barbara William Tyrrell, hear the word of the Lord. This too is going to be obliterated. I am not saying this too shall pass. I'm saying the Lord is getting ready to bash the giants that has been affecting your family. Holy Ghost, the Lord is saying Get ready because the heavy shaking is coming that, coming that is going to produce result. I am calling you to be endowed with kingdom power to stand the test, to resist the devil, to tell the devil that my family is not going to be separated and segregated because of long-term fuel. Fuel. I am going to give your family rest, says the Lord. Can you receive rest, my child? God says to pray for you. I pray for your body. I pray for your mind. I speak to you that blessed is the people whose God is the Lord and the nation that he has preserved for his heritage. I legislate that in your life there shall be an abundance of flow. Rabakusa. God is taking away the spirit of lack and insufficiency. The affliction in your body is coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Rabadoshkaya. I inject the blood of your hushua in your vein and muscles and tissues. I speak Speak to your immune system, Raku Sata, to come up, come up, come up in the prophetic name of Jesus. I itch the word on your immune system. I laminate your immune system with the blood of Jesus. Rakasata, the next doctor visit, your blood pressure will be okay. Your blood sugar is being normalized. I prophesy and legislate it now in the prophetic name. Do you know whose name I'm talking in? I'm talking in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That blood pressure is normalized. Robo Chateau. Rabba, tell that blood pressure that the Lord has spoken. It's going to be normalized going forward. Rabba Kush Badish Kurabadesh Kai. Any spirit that loves to entice sweet, I dig it out of you. You will not have any crave for sweet. I prophesy and legislate the blood of Jesus flow through your vein, exfoliating all those new scents to your health. Rakusha, British Kodoshkai. 
Hallelujah. Badush Kendai. I speak Robokusa to Carleen. Kalisbo Rabadeshkai. I speak that every implant of darkness in your back, in your side, in your muscles and tissues, you have been overlooked for long, but get ready because God is getting ready to spread you about. I put the visa for Canada. I put the visa for UK. I stamp it in your book. It cannot be removed because I did not stamp it, but God put it in. It's time for you to travel Rabosha. God says, open up for business. I did not call you for one thing. You're multitask. Your dual functionality of you press in to who you are and not what someone dictates you to be. Raku Shata cannot prophesy to you. Open up your eyes and see that the field is clear. It's time to plant seed, says the Lord. And I'm not talking finances to give to me. I'm talking plant seed in your country. Beleko Shataya. I see the Lord scoop you up from here and there and put you on a big runway. And the wind of the Lord was blowing, blowing, blowing. Every time you get tired and say, I cannot go any further, you were catapult. You were pushed. You were pushed beyond your human ability. Because the power that worketh in you is not your power. It is the power of God. God said, fear not. Your faith is not small. You need to operate in the dimension of your faith. Put in the sickle. What's holding you back from the ideas that you have been envisioning? Can you not get someone to write it down? Come on. Write the vision. Make it plain. For the vision is for an appointed time. And though it tarry, it shall not tarry. It shall come to pass. God says, be a facilitator of my world. Because you shall employ many. Rabo Shataya Badushkai. I awake the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship anointing in you. Raku, Saku, 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 Saku. There's many sides to you. Halabadushkai. And you just find the puzzles. I've been separated for a long time, but they're coming to together. There is a culmination. Yes. There is a coming together. Rabadishkai, I prophesy to you. I'm hearing Leroy, Rabasoto, Rabadishkai. I'm hearing Leroy. I prophesy that you will not be on a bus that will be um ambush. I'm seeing a bus on Walton Park Avenue, Walton Park Road, Walton Park, Walton Park. I'm hearing Walton Park. Reketosh, Kalibosh, Katash, Rikatash, Brike Soto. No ambush, you will escape Raku Sataya. I prophesy that vehicle for you in the name of Jesus because sometimes you do get afraid. Am I speaking? You need to confirm. I am hearing. Oh yes, sometimes you get afraid. Sometimes you don't want to go out. Sometimes fear sees your heart. But God says deep, call it unto deep. If you want the protection, come under the fullness of the blood. Don't give me a partial worship. I'm not a partial God. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. The zeal of God will perform it. Raku Shadabash Kedeshka. British Kodoshka. British Kalabadoshka. I take authority over those five car accidents that I'm seeing right now. Braku Sakush. British Kalabakusai. I speak that that person. This is a description of you. Immediately, sometimes when you start to drive, you feel a sharp sticking. Sometimes you're wondering, how oh, come that sticking just come at this time? I prophesy and legislate any arrow of darkness fired in your body. 
backfire. We command it to come up and out of your body and to go directly to the sender. In the prophetic name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice, that your mark for accident, I erase the mark. I put the mark of success and progress. I break the mark of destruction and death. I put the mark of success and progress in the prophetic name of Jesus. I prophesy to purpose a sign Johnson. God says, get ready to pray. You're too distracted. Get ready. I'm calling you to a higher season of prayer. But those guy, your blessing will not come on a, a silver platter. This is a military strategy that I am getting ready to to, to impart upon you, get rid of doubt and fear, step into the apostolic of grace that is affordable to you. I'm shaking the foundation. I did not call you to be religious. I call you to rage war and to rage war righteously in the name of Jesus. God says, I'm putting an end to confusion. Come on, somebody. Oh, what are you disgruntled about? Can your argument make the battle last shorter? Can you arguing, can you worrying cause it to subside? What do you need to do? You need to believe in the Lord your God. And you will be established. You need to call upon his name. Rabba Shatta in the time of trouble. He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you. Our purpose assigned Jackson. You are an evangelist with a prophetic apostolic anointing. God says, get back to the all time way um, in terms of the, the old way of the rapture. Get yourself ready. Be meditating on the scripture that has to deal with the end time on the rapture. I am celebrating the joy that you are found in. You are accepted and entreated in the beloved. Ho, Rabahaya. Ha, I hear the name Denise. If Purpose Johnson, if there's a Denise that you are connected to, I prophesy that she will not go to children's hospital following someone when her car, that car will meet in an accident. I veto Lebo Shata. That trip to children's hospital will be a no for her, someone else will pick it up. I prophesy over you any gunman, any gunshot, anything that is coming against your life to terminate your life is a veto. I speak peace over your community. I speak peace. I speak against anyone that is going to abduct a man by the name of Paul. I shut it down in the prophetic name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak right now. I'm in war, 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 Rekebosat. I'm hearing siren. I am hearing sirens of ambulance in Portmore. Rabashete over the bridge coming from Bayside. I'm hearing siren. We come against any tragedy that is planned. We come against any tragedy that is planned. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We speak to April shower. April shower, your mind is ill. We come against demonic battering ram that is attacking your mind. Constant attack. Could you like the video and share the video? Robokosata dibikusai. Bredeshka badoshka. Come on, saints, after begging you, after be begging you guys to share the video. Come on, we can do better than that. Rabaka Sato, Rebe Kusata, share the video, share the video. Roboku Saku, Shata, Ilebe Kusata, Debe Kusata, Idaba. I'm from, on from 12, from 10, and now it's 12.30 a.m. You can encourage me by sharing the video. Let the Lord be magnified who take plus prosper, uh, pleasure in the prosperity of his people. I want to speak. I just want to speak this corporate word uh, against um, 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 some of you are coming on uh, some attack like, you know, like racism, like partiality on the job. 
I just speak grace and peace over you. Let the Lord work out what is doing. Badish kaya badush kidi kusaya in the prophetic name of Jesus. I am hearing the name Althea. Althea kushata de bokosata. Two door has been shut spontaneously in your life. And God is getting ready to open new doors. The persecution come because someone that you convey, hallelujah, certain kind of detailed messages about yourself, hallelujah, went behind your back and backstab you. And God says, keep your mouth in this season or you will have to endure the same kind of struggle that you went through this is a preparation period for you hallelujah it's also a defining moment for you get ready god says i'm gonna settle you i know what you're going through i know what the warfare is about in the prophetic name of jesus i want to prophesy to natalie gear god says i am not a god that break covenant raku shataya and those that i love i love there's no despise or disrespect in me roko soto rababasiki my spirit is still over and over you and calling you hallelujah for the prophetic ministry that i have call and empower you for god says my hands upon you and it shall be well with you enjoy the blessing hallelujah and you will increase because i have called you to endure and increase in the same season as much as you suffered you shall enjoy your rest and restoration unendered by any satanic or demonic power says the lord Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so now I must come to an end. The Holy Spirit says, rest now. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless before his glorious appearance to the ever wise God. And this God is only to him be the glory. There's a great outpouring of God's grace that is coming up on the body of Christ. And get ready to see greater exposure. Get ready to see those that have been stealing from God's people, lying to God's people, persuading us on another path to be radically and drastically removed because the Lord is doing a new thing. And the Lord is networking the believers together. No more segregation or isolation. It's the kingdom time to advance. And so God is depending on you and I to put everything that we have together corporately so that we will fulfill his divine agenda in the earth realm. I want to thank God for each and every one of your time on tonight. Stay true to the call of God. You don't have to prove yourself to nobody. Just remember that he who have started the work is able to bring it to fruition. Hallelujah. That means that God is not just the one who will initiate, offset, offstart the work. But he will watch over it until it is completed. Shalom. God bless you. I am Prophetess Anna K. Wade. And this is the Line of Judah Prophetic Ministry. Until next time, have a great day. Shalom. Oh my God. Yes. Thank you. Welcome back, Sister Faith Walk. God bless you. Good night.